Hello, I am Chennagun Kapoor. I'm going to discuss my solution to the lead code problem numbers at most and given digit set. It's uh, today's daily challenge in lead code. The problem definition is we have a set of digits, say for example, one, three, five, and uh, uh, we can generate or we can write numbers of the form one, three, five, fifty one and, and so on, right? So the digits can repeat. So it's just like you know a number system with uh, three possible symbols. Um, so we can write, we can re we can reuse them. Um, so the problem here is given an integer n, uh, we need to find the number of positive integers that can be generated uh, using these digits that are lesser than or equal to the given integer n. So that's the problem we need to solve. Let's look at few examples given here uh, to understand the problem better. Suppose if n is hundred. So if n is 100, there are four symbols. This is more like you know base four with two digits because the, with one digit we can make four integers one three five seven. With two digits we can make four squared number of integers because each of them has four choices. Each digit has four choices, and with three digits we can we cannot make any any of them because all of them are going to be greater than 100 anyway. So that's why the answer is going to be 20 here. If you take another example here, we have a one followed by nine zero here, which is like 10 power nine. Uh, and there are three symbols here. So the number of uh, uh, the number of integers that can be written uh, using just three digits are, there are three of them with one digit and three squared of them with two digits and three to the three with three digits and so on, up to three to the nine. These are all of nine digits, right? And so these are the number of integers we can generate with only these three symbols. And anything with 10 digits, they are going to be greater than 10 power 9. So none of them are going to be there. So this adds up to something like, you know, 29,523. So that's the answer. Right. So I hope the problem is clear. Let me take another example to, to explain my approach. Uh, so I'm going to take another example, which has the same kind of digits, 1357. Um, and suppose if n is something like you know five, three, uh, six, seven, something like this, right? Now let's see how we can generate or how how, how can we count uh, the the number of uh, you know integers that can be generated, right? So look at all the single digit numbers. All of them are obviously lesser than uh, you know this five thousand odd. So there are four of them, right? Four power. So all of them are of the form say x, right? X could be any one of these four possible digits. Similarly, all of those which are of two digits long, so they are of the form XX, so they are going to be four squared. Similarly, uh, even three digit numbers are also going to be lesser than 5000 odd, so that's going to be five, four to the three. But four digit numbers, not all of them can be, uh, are going to be lesser than, um, you know, lesser than N, lesser than or equal to N. But if, if you start with say one, because one is a possible digits, one XXX, so these are actually possible. These are all lesser than or equal to n. So these are four cube. Similarly, starting with three also, all of them are lesser than or equal to n, which is another four cube. But starting with five, not all of them could be lesser than or equal to n because in n itself has a five as the, uh, you know, a thousand place digit, right? So we may have to uh, see whether, uh, whether all of them are possible. So starting with five, one, and xx so there are four squared of them similarly five three again we have an issue so five three if you look at the next two digits as in we already have three in, in n so we need to see whether the next digits digits are possible so starting with five three one x so that is four four possibilities and five three uh, three x that is another four and uh, five three five x five three five x that's another four numbers so that's uh, that's all actually of uh, starting with five, because uh, after that we have already six and then seven is obviously not possible. Now because this is like dead end for us. After this we cannot generate any more numbers, because if you have five three six uh, or five three five as the starting point or even five three seven, they are always uh, greater than n. So we don't have any more digits. So whatever this sum um, add this sum um, adds up to, is the answer, right? So this is one uh, way of doing it. So what what we can observe here is there is first part these three <coughs> because this n has four digits anything up to up to three three digits are very easy right so it's all you know the number of digits uh, to the power of uh, you know starting with one two up to three right up to uh, you know one lesser than number of digits 
right? So this is number of digits four. But for equal to that number of digits, like four, we need to figure out uh, how many of them we can form. So we can go in this way, starting with you know the number of possibilities for the first digit. So which are all in this case it is five. So one three are clear, and uh, and and so there are these are the number of possibilities four cube in this case. But when it when it when it is equal to that one of the digits we have. So we need to again dig deeper into that. So starting with five again, one, three, five, whatever possibilities. But yeah, once we reach there, one, three, five, uh, we need to stop and then and then figure out actually what are the next possibilities. So in this example, because we already have six here, and when we tried with five, three, five, five, three, seven is not possible. So we are going to stop there. But what if we we are going to be we we get another uh, digit which is not six, which is one of the digits we have. I'll take another example, which is little different. So we still have the same digits, but n could be something like you know five three, say uh, three seven, right? So in this case, we are going to have the first few uh, cases are very similar, four to the one, four to the two, four to the three, which are x x x x. Uh, so these three possibilities, right? This is like one class we can easily find out, and starting with one x x x and uh, 3xx sorry 3 yeah, sorry 3xx is also possible because first digit is 5 so these are all 4 cube and 4 cube and the next possibilities are uh, starting with 5 1xx so these are also there because they are lesser but the next one is going to be 5 3 and uh, because already we have 3 as the second digit in our number so we need to go dig deeper so 5 3 1x there are 4 and similarly, another one, 533. So that is again uh, the prefix of the number we have. So we cannot actually process this one. And let's see, 531, after that, we have 531x, which is only uh, one possibility, and uh, 5333, which is another one, and, and then 5335, another one, and 5337, that is another one. And that's how we are done with uh, all possibilities here. Right, so this should add up to whatever the sum it adds up to is the answer. All right, so I hope the logic is clear. So the first part is going to be this one. So this will run for if, if there are n digits in this case, four digits, we are going to run for three up to three numbers, uh, where uh, the number of digits is four in this case again. So that is more like the base. So four power one, four power two, up to four power digits minus one. Right, uh, and and again, after that, we need to go with these possibilities starting with each digit. Uh, we are going to go up to uh, whatever the digit we have here. Uh, so in this case, uh, we have these two possibilities uh, up to so less, th less than that, this five or there are only two possibilities. But when it is equal to five, we are going to go deeper into that one. So one more level, we go there and five, three, five, one, five, three, and, and, and so on, where we'll try to figure it out. But uh, in this example, if you look at the first example, at some point, whatever we tried, uh, we stopped there and, and the next digit is not equal to uh, any of the digits we have. Like in this case, six, six is not even present. So that's why there cannot be any more digits with after 535x, right? So we're gonna stop there. If if we uh, keep getting the digits which are there in, the, in our digit set, we are gonna go till the last possibility, right? So that's what we are gonna figure out. Maybe this last one case could be a little odd in terms of handling in the loop that can be handled outside. So we'll see how that logic uh, you know works out. All right. So this is the idea I'm 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 trying to uh, explore. Let me show my code and then how does it look like? Okay. Um, so I have some you know um, print commands, CO commands to to show how does it work with the, the sample examples I've taken. Uh, let's look at here. The, the in, to start with, I have sorted the digits because I'm counting. Uh, that's going to make my job easier. Uh, there are up at the max only nine digits, so it is not a big deal. But uh, keeping them sorted is going to help me, right? Uh, so and then uh, the number, whatever the n they have given, uh, I need that in the string form so so that I can I can you know iterate over the digits very easily. So num string is essentially the n itself in the string form and starting with MSB. Count is the answer we are going to generate, so it starts with zero. The first loop, as I mentioned there, uh, this will run from one till, uh, you know, one lesser than the number of uh, digits in my in my num string, right, in, in n. So each time I'm going to take power of, uh, you know, the number of digits is more like the base, right? So digits dot size is the base to the power of i. 
right? So that's what we are going to do it. And then I'm just printing out whatever the number I'm adding it to my account. All right. So this is a simpler part. And then this loop is, is obviously the crux of it. So I is going to be uh, uh, going over each of these digits in the number. So when I take a number, I'll start with the first number. Suppose if n is, we, we took that example, right? Say 5, 3, 3, 7, something like this. So this is digit uh, uh, as a num string 0, num string 1, num string 2, num string 3. And I go over each of them. So when I look at the first one, uh, all I do is uh, I'll start with j. And j is going to go over the, this digit set. Right, we had this one, three, five, seven as the digit set. Right, this is digits, and uh, this array is num string. Right, so uh, when you go over the digits, uh, so if if this condition is met, we are going to go over. Once it fails, will come out. What is this condition? As long as we are in, in the in the digits uh, digits array, and uh, the digit we are we are looking at is lesser than the digit in the num string. If it is lesser, we are going to consider that. If it is greater than or equal to, we stop, right? And we'll come out of the while loop. We'll see what we should do if it is equal. So if it is if it is over, uh, we have considered all the digits. Or if the digit we are looking at is is greater than uh, the digit we just stopped at. So we are done with this, and then we can break out of the while loop, and and we have the answer. Otherwise, uh, uh, we can actually we can we got to go over each of them. So look at this line number 17. What I'm adding here is uh, digit dot size is obviously the base uh, to the power of num string dot size minus one minus i. Why? Because so when I when I take something like of the form say five xxx, what does this mean? Is we are at, we are at this one five here as the first digit. So that's why i is zero now, and that's why num size minus one is going to be three. So four to the power of three is what we consider. If it is say five uh, one xx, or maybe in this example we consider five three xx. In this case, i is equal to one. We are at i equal to one here. So that's why num size, which is four, four minus one minus one is going to be two. So four to the two are the number of possibilities here, right? That is the uh, number we are we are adding here. All right. So when we come out of the while loop, uh, we we make sure this this is uh, hit. So we already discussed about this one. If, if uh, we have to continue for the next digit or not, uh, this condition is going to decide. But when we come out of this one, finally, that last case, because uh, in this example, in this in this particular example, we consider 53xx and all, and then then 533, uh, we didn't, we, we considered 533x also. And after that, we considered 5331, uh, so not, so 531x, and then 5331, 5333, 5335, five. but 5337 three, was not even counted here. The reason is uh, this condition was false and then we came out, right? And we didn't break out of this one, so we came out. So that's why if i is equal to this condition, as in the, whatever the, the condition failed here, if i is equal to the size of this one, that means we didn't come out of this break. And that's when we need to add one more number to that, which is the last one, and then I'm going to uh, print it. If I actually just directly return the count here itself instead of break, I don't have to check this condition because if, if I if I come out of the break, I'll anyway return directly. Right? That we can actually make sure. Let me run this one with with some examples and then show. All right. Uh, maybe I'm going to change this one uh, right away here and then uh, that should that should explain much better. So I'll take out this one. I'll say return count. And in this case, so we don't need this kind of you know, uh, uh, condition checking because this is uh, already, uh, this is going to be true anyway, right? We come out here only if i is equal to num string because there is no other way of coming to this point, right? Let me uh, run for the example, the first example I considered. So here, if I run for this one, 5367, so you're going to see these things. Look at this, the numbers I have printed out. Uh, this first three, four, six, uh, 4, 16, and 64 are the first for loop for up to three digits. And for fourth digit, this is more like, you know, 1xxx. Uh, this is 444. And this is uh, 3xxx. But this one is 51xx, right, this part. And after that, uh, we need 53, right? So 531x uh, here. And this one is 533x. And this part is 535x. 
and after that it becomes six years so we're going to stop and we come out of the break so instead of break we are directly returning so that's why i have this plus uh, you know, shown here and I, I immediately return there right that's the answer i get let me run it for uh, another example uh, which is going to be so let's say uh, another example we can start 5337 in this case uh, let's see how does it look like so here uh, we still have the these things are not changed first three cases and this case uh, these two cases are for uh, one digit with uh, one xxx and uh, three xxx and this one is for one uh, sorry five one xx right and this case is for five three one x right and uh, this one is for five three three one this is for five three 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 and uh, this one is for five three uh, three five and that's when we come out of the while loop right and this final case is uh, considered at the outside of the while loop this is going to be five three three seven which is equal to that last case all right so that's how we have uh, let me submit my uh, uh, code and see whether it works right it has accepted all right uh, hopefully this method was uh, understandable maybe i should i should comment out this uh, uh, you know uh, print lines so and so that you know, it, it can run a little faster otherwise it is taking unnecessarily some time right let me comment out these right and submit again okay it uh, accepted right let me look at how much time it takes uh, yeah it, it runs pretty fast four milliseconds i think this is uh, uh, pretty much one of the best solution we can have all right okay so yeah if you know any other way of solving this one please let me know in the comments below Otherwise, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for watching.